In this video, we're going to explore how you can use the create text node in JavaScript. And the create text node is a part that we use very commonly together with the append child. What it basically does is this. So it creates a text node and a node is basically a child that we connect to a parent. And I will show you later on what I mean by that. But basically in this case, if you have a paragraph, the paragraph would be the parent and the text within the paragraph is the child and that's a, and not specifically a child it's the text note it's a note on the text so what is a note if you are confused what is a note let me explain it very quick for example here a html tag is the note or the parent note or commonly known as the root note and it's the root because there is no other parent on top of this so this is the html as a parent and then the children is the head and the body and you can see here as we are nested in deeper you can see every time we have a new parent and this parent will have a child and of course besides this being a child here this p paragraph the paragraph tag has also a child which is the text node or specifically it will be the text node so this is basically the thing. It's built on the tag, which is a node, and the text node is the text within the tag. All right, so you have this kind of basic information, and let's start to use it more in a practical sense. So what are we going to do? What we want to do is we want to create a unordered list, and in this unordered list, the moment we click, we want to add up the unordered list uh, or the list item, and we want to connect or attach a text node, basically the text within the that unordered list so let's start and look how we can do this first thing that we need to do is we need to create a unordered list and let's put it here down so i'm going to make here a horizontal line and then here we're going to put in a unordered list and within here we're going to do a list and in here what we're going to do is we say here id now just give it the id name of parent should you use parent for id absolutely not for but for for this demonstration purpose it would make sense because you will see that the formula becomes very easy to understand when you see this all right so we have this so we're going to say here now we have a constant this is the name parent and what is the parent we say document dot get element by id which is parent all right so that's number one so now we have another one, we say a constant, which will be the child, yes, and the child will be connected to the parent. You attach that one to the parent, but what will this be? Well, if we look here very carefully, we understand that this is an unordered list, UL, UL tag, meaning that we have a list item that is the tag of the child. So we want to add up here. So if you have your test or text or test, then we have here, what we're going to do is we're going to create. So the moment we click on this button here, we're going to create a new element. So we say here document dot create element. And as you can see here, here we had get element by ID. And now we're going to create a element, which is just creating a specific tag. What is the tag name? Li. All right. So now we have this. The next thing what we can do here is we can connect it to each other because basically now we have created a child tag and now let's connect it to the parent. So how do we do this? And this is why I'm using now parent and child because you will see it's easier to, to read now. So we say parent, which is the parent element ID. So we're going to connect parent and then we say append and append means attach child. So the parent and then we attach the child to the parent and this is the ID basically. And what child are we going to append? You will say here the list item, which is right now the name of child. And watch out here, I'm, I tend to make this mistake quite often to put in here single, single quotations. Don't do that because this is not a string, it is a variable or a constant. So no need for string uh, or no need for single quotations to make it a string. So once we do this, you will see now we have a second one here. However, the second one, of course, has nothing in here. So how can we now? create a text node because basically we have an empty we have only the list item but we have no text within the list item so the text node of li currently is blank 
So what we're going to do is we're going to create text note and we're going to insert it in our child. So what we're going to do here now is um, we're going to say here document.create text note. This is let's say here hello. And this is of course our constant of text. So we have the text. And then how do we attach it to the to the li? Well, basically, if you see this, you will understand how to do it on here. So then we say here, in this case, the child is the parent of text. So we say here, child dot append new child, and this child is text. We can say here hello, or if, if we could give it a name, John. That's fine. So then we have a name. So the John, so John, so this child has a child called John. So we attach it here. All right. So once we do this, a refresh, as you can see, now it starts to work. So now we get the hello in here. All right. What can we do more? So if we want to do with a button, if we click on this, we should see this. Let's start and explore that one. In here we have an ID, but I don't like this ID name. So we say here, add list item li. All right. So we're going to do this here now. You say your constant li equals document dot get element by id, and then we say add li. All right. And once we did this, we say li dot because now what we want to do is we want to add it, or we want to trigger this command the moment we we press on this button. We say here li add event listener. What, are, what do we want to do? Well, the moment on click, we want to trigger the function. So we say here, function add list item. All right, so this is a function name. So the moment we click, we, tra we trigger this function. So what we say here now is we say function, then add list item. And then we put in here the function, make sure we have these curly braces. All right, well, once we have this, there we are. Let's put that here and let's indent this a bit more. That's more better. But then we have this. All right. So once we save this, refresh, and as we click, we have hello. So now maybe you say, well, what if we can put in here maybe an input type? Well, we can do that as well. We can add up an input type, and in that input type, we will trigger whatever text we want. Instead of this here, we just get a text that we want. Well, let's do that as well. So we have here another one. So what we're going to do here, we're going to add up here and now a new HR. So we have a horizontal line. And then in here, we're going to put in an input. Input type equals text. And then we say here ID is uh, list item. Oh, sorry. Item name that will be probably fine because we're given an item and name, and then in here we will say as well uh, a class, a simple class form control and then form control.li. All right, so we got this, we save this, let's make this here closing text, our closing text. All right, refresh. So there we are, we have something here, but of course, this is still nothing. So what we're going to do here in more is just for nice purposes, it looks a bit more better. We make a, a margin bottom tree. All right, that looks better. And then now what we want to do is we want to connect these two together. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get this const. And this const is basically the, we can put it in here, that's fine. And what we're going to do here was the uh, button. Then we have the text, we have the item name. All right, so what we do is we have this one here, the item name. And then what we want to do we have this here. We can remove this because what will be here, you will be the text, whatever we have in the item name, but specifically dot value because we have to get the value. So once we save this, this will start to work out. Let's see here, one, two, three. There we are. However, if you click on this and if you type on, we have still more. Maybe you want this blank. We can just do that one just to create a bit more nicer functionality. 
So we have this, and then the moment everything has been appended, at this moment we'll say here empty input, right? That's the next one here basically in here. So once we do that, we say here item link value equals blank. All right. So once we did that, refresh, one, two, three, as you can see now, it starts to become blank. And this is basically the way how you can create a text node, append all the children together, you understand now child and John, etc., and the child and the parent. And this is basically the way how you blank this out, but this is basically how we use the create text node here. With the create text node, you can put in a fixed text with a string, or of course with inputs, we create a more dynamic part of it. So if you like these kind of videos, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any questions regarding this, post them in the comment section below. And if you are interested in Chart.js, check out my Chart.js course on Udemy. I have a link down below in the description box.